And shout out to Dante oh, Boxing Nation. DBN Nation, uh, of course. Support DBN Nation. You hear it from Floyd Money Mayweather. This is Terrence Crawford, and you're watching Dante's Boxing Nation. This is Deontay the Bronze from Wilder, and you're watching Dante's Boxing Nation. Hi, you're watching Dante's Boxing Nation. Woo! Hey. <laughs> if you know, you know. And if you know that fighters like Deontay Wilder is what makes boxing great again, then what's understood don't got to be explained. Now, Deontay Wilder refused to be awarded the WBC franchise tag. He told the WBC, give that tag to someone else because he doesn't want it. He feels that if he's going to win a world title, he want to be able to defend it. He don't like the idea of of having a belt and not having a ranking system for it and that's exactly what new media been preaching from day one so deontay wilder responded to the wbc franchise title question by stating and i quote if canelo accepts it and he's happy with it then congratulations the only thing i could say about it is many people have asked me about the franchise belt i don't know much about it what i'm hearing is that I allow you to stay champion and you don't have to fight mandatories and stuff like that. If that's the case, then I'm not interested in that. I want the mandatory because that's what makes guys work their way up and work hard to become number one, number two, and then become the mandatory. Why would you crown someone that, eliminating all that, and you don't have a mandatory and different things like that? I would love to be able to have a mandatory and have him sitting and the more he wait, the more he getting frustrated about certain things. And then when the fight comes, you have him wait all this time already. It's always the build up to the fight. When you take it away and take certain things away from boxing, you take the charisma away from it. You take the excitement away from it. And that's what I don't want to do. I don't want to take the excitement away from anyone. And well spoken from a great champion that wants only one face, one name, one belt, in each division and that's no other than Deontay Bomb Squad Wilder they don't call him Bomb Squad for nothing I tell you that if we have more champions like Deontay Wilder in the sport of boxing today boxing will be great again that's for sure because with this decision that Deontay Wilder made he helping cleaning up the sport of boxing because it's corrupted with politics and as far as I know, new media, we doing our job by exposing the corruption in the sport of boxing. And we need fighters like Deontay Wilder, who's the most popular boxer in the world today, according to ESPN. We need him to make powerful decisions like that. Because by making such a powerful move, he exposes the corruption in the sport. When the longest reigning heavyweight champion, Deontay Wilder, who defended his title nine times, held the title longer than any fighter in the world today, since 2014, and he turned down the WBC franchise title, then that title going to be labeled the French Fries Champion, because keep in mind, only two fighters accepted that title by paying money and requesting that title, and that's Canelo Alvarez and Lomachenko. And if you may ask, why is Lomachenko and Canelo Alvarez requesting this title when they have to give up up to 10% of their purse to the sectioning fees when they were paying only 2% for the regular WBC title? It's because they want to avoid Charlo and Devin Haney. Ironically, two fighters from the coincidental list. And both Canelo Alvarez and Lomachenko are fighters from the hopeless. So you could paint the picture. Even Steve Wonder could see this. He don't even got to wonder about what's going on in the sport. Even a blind man could see this coming. So by Deontay Wilder turning down the WBC French Fries title, he shows that he cut from a different cloth than Canelo and Lomachenko. He's cut from the same cloth Terrence Crawford is cut from. And that's free smoke to everybody. 
Wilder told y'all he wants mandatories. He wants challenges. He ain't ducking no smoke. His name ain't Tyson Fury where he turned down the rematch and claimed he won 10 rounds. Nah, Wilder ain't finna do that. Deontay Wilder is not cut from the same cloth as Tyson Fury. He cut from the same cloth Errol Spence is cut from. He cut from the same cloth that Terrence Crawford is cut from. That's why Terrence Crawford came out stating the same thing that he could care less about the French Fries title because at the end of the day, he wants to defend his title. It's not a real title when you could win the belt, but you can't lose it. And that's what I've been preaching from day one. Now you have fighters like Terrence Crawford co-signing what I'm saying. Fighters like Deontay Wilder supporting the movement. Fighters even like Adrian Broner and Tank Davis clowning the WBC franchise title because they claim that they showing favoritism. And that's absolutely true also. It's just a way to maneuver and a way to duck the best fights and steal fights away from the fans. So by Deontay Wilder refusing the WBC French Fries title, showing that he's a real champion and he's not ducking any smoke and he wants all the smoke and all the straps in the division period, now the WBC have to be very careful on their next move. Their next move better be their best move. If not, it's going to make them look very bad in the media. And you don't want it to start looking like the hopeless French Fries title against the coincidental list mandatories. And it's already looking like that so far. I mean, you have Canelo and Nomachenko doing what Redick Bo did back in the day to avoid Lennox Lewis. And that's a vacator belt to avoid a tough mandatory. So if they want to clear it up, all they have to do is keep the franchise title and get your WBC belt back. How about that? Win both of the belts. How about that? However, they want to get away from that fighter so bad they had to create another whole belt to these fighters on the hope list like Canelo and Lomachenko to avoid fighters from the coincidental list. And that's like... Charlo and Devin Haney. We back to the murderer's role back in the day against fighters on the Gotti list. And matter of fact, the report I read where I got the information from for this topic and this subject in particular where I'm going to leave in the description box below. They stated the WBC hasn't said yet whether their franchise tag will be permanent fixture or not. Given the huge backlash from boxing fans, new media... It's possible that the section and body may do away with it in the future. If champions like Wilder turning down the franchise belt is going to make the WBC look bad, they won't want to continue to be fooled at their attempt to give in their franchise tag to certain champions if they keep getting turned down. And you don't need to tag Deontay Wilder no French Fries title champion belt because he's already tagged as the king of the heavyweight division right now. He's the most feared. And decisions like this that helps to clean the sport to make boxing great again like the NBA, the NFL, and many more sports such as soccer, even the UFC. They have structure to the sport. They have tournaments. So Deontay Wilder is on his path to cleaning the sport, helping the media, and he truly appreciate it. And decisions like this is the reason why Deontay Wilder is the champion of the people. Because he makes decisions that the people want him to make. He moves how a champion should move. He carry himself like a true champion. That he is. Deontay Wilder been calling out the Klitschko's of the world. Been trying to fight AJ. Been wanting the smoke with Tyson Fury. Meanwhile, it's these fighters that been avoiding him and stopping him from shining. The AJs of the world, the Klitschko's of the world, even Tyson Fury in the rematch, for example. However, what Deontay Wilder does, he fights the boogeyman twice when he don't even have to. When AJ was supposed to fight the boogeyman and Eddie Hearn had to let him out of his contract because AJ didn't want the smoke at the time. So Wilder had to step in and clean his mess. Now Deontay Wilder have to clean up the politics of boxing mess. So new media truly appreciate 
the king of the heavyweight division, Deontay Wilder, for being a true example of a great champion. One face, one name, like... It is an all sport that how it was in the sport of boxing back in the 70s where fighters in each division wants that one strap, their true strap. Now, if you try to explain who's the champion to a casual boxing fan in each division, good luck with that. So that's what new media here for. We're here to restore order and maintaining it because there's a lot of confusion going on. So we're here to clear the smoke up so we came in with a vacuum and we've been preaching this from day one and even though Deontay Wilder doing more than he's supposed to in the sport inside and outside of the ring he still ain't gonna be liked by these fans the reason why is because he's too real he cut from a fabric that it ain't see-through like Canelo and Lomachenko and that's why new media is here to give fighters that no matter what they say it ain't enough because it ain't about what you say it's about what you look like it ain't about what you do it's about what you look like that's what the sport is turning to and because of that new media is here and we here for a reason not a short season and we all know what time it is we making a change so that being said check out split decision hosting dropped every monday i took professor nim to school he was my student on episode seven so please check that out Enjoy the episode and many more coming your way. And shout out to Dante for keeping it real one time. Shout out to Ego. That's who started the new media movement. And we here and we here to take over, not to take parts. So subscribe below if you're trying to get smarter by the minute. If you're trying to get dumber by the second, don't and listen to old media because new media here and we're here preaching, not reporting. So Click on the notification bell to get notified every time we post to go live because sometimes YouTube don't be sending out the notifications. Check out my guy Lunatune for the funniest boxing memes. If you're not following Lunatune, you're missing out on a laugh or two early in the morning when you first log in to IG. Check out Aki TV, subscribe. Check my Instagram out, follow me there if you got any questions. So to be continued on the next episode of Aki TV. Peace and we out.